We gotta move on, y'all. Uh, social okay. media is outraged after a black 16-year-old boy was shot twice by a neighbor after going to the wrong house to simply pick up his younger brothers. Now, the shooter has been identified as an 85-year-old man, white man, by the name of Andrew Lester. Now, according to Clay County Prosecuting Attorney Zachary Thompson, Lester has been charged with assault in the first degree and armed criminal act. And to me, those charges are not enough. I feel like that's attempted murder. You shot this kid in the head. Uh, what are your thoughts on this unfortunate situation? Lisa Reyes, go to you first. This is horrible. I am absolutely appalled. I don't believe that he couldn't have known that this was his neighbor because you have been neighboring with this person for half. Even if it was a week, you know what your neighbor looked like. And for him to innocently go, well, I don't know how he ended up at the wrong house. I mean, maybe they got those cookie cutter houses that look the same. No, he, he was going to 115 something and, and instead he went to something on 115. Street. So yeah, he was on the wrong, he was on the wrong neighborhood. Street. Yeah. But the guy, oh. okay, the guy had a oh. glass door. You saw the kid, you saw the kid had no weapon and he just rang the doorbell. You just come out guns blazing. He shot him in his arm, he shot him and then shot him again in the head. And then the kid lives. And they did not, it brought him in for questioning, right? And then they let him go back home. And now after we made an outrage on social media, thank you, Sean King and a whole bunch of other people who raised hell, Lee Merritt, Benjamin Crump, raised hell on social media, blew up the, com the, the prosecutor's office. Then they went on the news today, because you know I'd be on top of all this shit. On the okay. Oh, we are issuing an arrest warrant. You know where the fuck he lives. You been to his house and you let him leave. Go get him. And yeah. First of all, had a black man shot a white kid walking up to his door? He would have already been murdered. Okay. He'd be dead already. Death row. Death row. Yeah. My, my thing is this. Th th first of all, as a mom of two Black boys, um, I can't even explain to you how this story jams me completely up, first mm -hmm. of all. So I can't even touch on the fact that the whole part of the baby got shot, you know, the pictures of him in the hospital. It really, really, really took me down. OK, so I had to, like, get away from the pictures. I'd like to make, you know, bring light to gun control. Because when y'all running around here, legislate, you know, legislation is running around here, you know, GOP, running around here saying yes to guns and all of this foolishness. It is the world is a, it was another mass shooting in Mississippi. It was one yeah, the other day. Am. It has been rampant. This gun control is out of control. And I'm just going to say this. Let's not make this another Emmett Till situation where he did in the grave and then somebody like, oh, yeah, he admit, you know, let's do the right thing. She, he needs to go to jail for Emmett Till. Just on, yeah, just on GP. Say. Vivica, what do you think about this? Uh, uh, why is it not attempted murder? He shot him twice, once while he was laying on the ground. Attempted I agree murder. with you 100%. Oh, Crash. Uh, First of all, I knew it was going to be a drunk-ass idiot because okay. you missed. You shot through the glass, then tried to go shoot this child in the head. Again. I, I knew it was hell. somebody that was sitting drunk as hell, mad at the world, that, you know, it's, uh, it's just so sad. But, yeah. you know, I concur this, this with is all why of black men, and Black men are a threat. Well, yeah. let me say this real quick. Matter, we don't so it. it's just, it's so just since since the media want to blast the faces when it's somebody black that's even a suspect or a victim and criminalize them, and they have not really put this guy's face out there, y'all can go to my Instagram page on my story. I'm gonna put his face up there so you can see his 85 year old miserable ass. We are not gonna protect this man. You will be seen and you will be shamed. People have been protesting at your house, and I'm here for it. I'm you posting it too. He knows. Right. No. 